Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of symmetry, especially how we can use lines of symmetry to show a reflection in shapes and objects, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So a line of symmetry is an imaginary line, so typically you're not going to see it. If you do see it, it's going to be in a dash. And it's a line that you can draw through a shape, and as you can see here we have nine shapes that are not your normal shapes, that will fold that shape in half exactly. So if I were to look at this arrow, this downward arrow that's in the top left-hand corner, I'm going to draw a dashed line that's blue that splits that arrow straight in half. And that is what we would call a line of symmetry. Because if you take uh, this portion over here on the right and you fold it over to this portion on the left, one part would fold exactly onto the other part without any part sticking over. This cuts it exactly into two equal parts. And this is what we would call a vertical line of symmetry, simply because uh, vertical means straight up and down. Now, this next shape to the right kind of looks like a sideways eight, does not have a vertical line of symmetry. Uh, this side over here on the left is too small. And this side over here on the right is too big, so you couldn't cut it in this middle part right there. What we can do, though, is we could draw a horizontal line of symmetry. Because if you look at it this way, there is an imaginary line. I'll write this word horizontal. There is a line that cuts that exactly in half, and this top part will now fold down exactly on the bottom part. So each of these shapes have one line of symmetry. Now here we have an isosceles triangle. Can't cut it in half left to right, no horizontal, but I can go back to my vertical. And I can grab a vertical line of symmetry there. So each of these first three shapes only have one line of symmetry. Now, take a look at this right triangle right here. I'm gonna draw my line of symmetry, but this time it's gonna be diagonal. So I'm gonna write this uh, diagonal. Sometimes your line of symmetries are not going to be vertical or horizontal. That means I can take this portion right here and I can take this portion right here, fold one on top of each other right along my line of symmetry and it would be exactly even. Now take a look at this ball. It looks almost like a beach ball. This beach ball uh, is going to have two different lines of symmetry. So let's see if you can figure out what those are real quick. Now not just the shape, Circles themselves have an infinite number of lines of symmetry, pure circles. But we have to look at the shape of the, the blue and the white portion. So most of you will see that we have a vertical line of symmetry here. As you can fold the left side over the right, but we also have a horizontal line of symmetry. You can fold the top to the bottom. So sometimes shapes will have two, and let's just finish this out right here. We've got uh, this uh, six-sided shape. It's a hexagon, not a hexagon you're normally used to seeing, but it's got six sides. It's got a diagonal line of symmetry because that side is going to flip right onto that side. You've got to like, have a teardrop shape on the bottom left that's going to have another uh, diagonal line of symmetry. This is a strange shape. It almost looks like an alien spaceship. That's going to have a diagonal line of symmetry. And this almost looks like a Pac-Man right here, except it's green instead of yellow. And that's going to have one line of symmetry. Let's see what happens when we have shapes that have more than one line of symmetry. So here we have a 12-sided shape. For those of you that are wondering, what do you call a 12-sided shape? It's called a dodecagon. It's a strange name. It's a 12-sided shape. How many lines of symmetry do you think we can find in this one? Well, I think most of you see it looks like a plus, big fat plus symbol. And you're probably seeing your horizontal line of symmetry which would be correct, and then your vertical line of symmetry, which would also be correct. So right now we have two lines of symmetry, but I need you to also kind of tilt your head a little bit to the left or the right, because there are going to be two different diagonal lines of symmetry. If you take this right here, diagonal from bottom left to top right, you could take this portion right here, and you could fold it over to this section right here. So that's gonna be one line of symmetry. And if that's gonna be a line of symmetry, then we're also gonna have another one from the top left to the bottom right. So this is gonna have four lines of symmetry.